In this tutorial, we're going to talk about molarity. First, let's go over the equation. Molarity, M, equals the number of moles divided by the volume in litres. So, for example, if we've got 0.5 moles of hydrochloric acid in a 2 litre solution, what is the molarity? So, using this equation here, we can plug in the values that we do know to find out the value that we don't know. So 0.5 divided by 2 equals 0.25 molar solution. So 0.5 is the moles and 2 is the volume in litres. So we get 0.25 molar solution of hydrochloric acid. We can rearrange this original equation to find any missing value. For example, if we wanted to find the number of moles, we could take the molarity and times it by the volume in litres. If we had a 3 litre 0.2 molar solution of hydrochloric acid, how many moles would we have? So we know that the molarity of the solution is 0.2, so then we multiply this by the volume of the solution, which is in litres, so it's 0.2 multiplied by 3 equals 0.6 moles in total. So how is all this information useful in the lab? Well, sometimes you may be asked to make up a solution. So, for example, if you were asked to make up a 1 litre 0.6 molar solution of sodium chloride, how would you go about this? We need to find out how many grams of sodium chloride to dissolve. To do this, we need to think back to both of the equations previously discussed in our videos. Firstly, think back to equation 2. Moles equals molarity times by the volume. We know that the molarity is 0.6 and the volume is 1 litre, so if we multiply 0.6 by 1, we get the total number of moles, which is 0.6. So now we have the number of moles, we can work out the grams using equation 1. So think back to that first tutorial where we gave you this equation, and you can see it's been rearranged so that we can find the mass. So we've already got the moles, which is 0.6, and we know that the molecular weight of sodium chloride is 58.5. So if we multiply these two values together, we get the answer of 35.1 grams of sodium chloride. So this is the amount that you would weigh out to make up a total 1 litre solution of sodium chloride. Unfortunately, it's not always this simple. In order for the equations to work, you must use the correct units. For information on this, please watch our next video.